In this video, we will discuss what was the largest nuclear bomb ever built by the United States and the Soviet Union, and how much area could the largest nuclear bomb destroy if dropped on any modern city. The largest nuclear test conducted by the US was the Castle Bravo test which took place in 1954 at Bikini Atoll in the Pacific Ocean. The explosion yielded 15 megatons of TNT, about 1000 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The bomb had a mushroom cloud roughly 40 kilometers high. The power of the nuclear test was miscalculated by scientists. The yield was about two and a half times greater than expected and resulted in nuclear fallout spreading for about 7,000 square miles across the Pacific. However, Castle Bravo is only the fifth most powerful nuclear weapon detonation in history. The largest nuclear explosion occurred in 1961 when the Soviet Union exploded the Tsar Bomba on Novaya Zemlya, north of the Arctic Circle. The explosion yield was 50 megatons, 3300 times more powerful than the nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima. This was the most powerful human-made explosion ever recorded, 10 times more powerful than all of the ordnance exploded during the whole of World War II. The bomb was originally designed with a 100 megaton capacity Though the resulting fallout from such a blast was considered too dangerous for a test situation, thus it was modified to yield 50 megatons. The resulting weapon weighed 27 tons with a length of some 26 feet and a diameter of about 7 feet. A Tu-95 bomber was modified to carry the weapon which was equipped with a special parachute that would slow its fall, allowing the plane to fly a safe distance from the blast. The crewmen were told they only had a 50% chance of survival. The bomb exploded about 4 kilometers above the ground and the flash of the detonation was seen some 1000 kilometers away and generated a mushroom cloud that towered nearly 60 kilometers, roughly 6 times the flying height of commercial aircrafts. It is estimated that if such a bomb is dropped on a modern city, the fireball of such explosion will have a radius of about 5 kilometers moderate blast damage up to 26 kilometers and third degree burns up to a radius of 60 kilometers. This image shows the area destroyed by the Hiroshima bomb as compared to a 50 megaton bomb. But what if the yield of the Tsar Bomba is kept at 100 megatons? These images show the difference between a 50 megaton and a 100 megaton nuclear bomb area of destruction. On the United States, the Tsar Bomba doesn't look that destructive, but for comparison, take a look at what this bomb could do on the United Kingdom, France, and Germany. But this bomb never made it into active service because it was too big to be a practical weapon. Theoretically, it is even possible to build a nuclear bomb more than 100 times as powerful as Tsar Bomba, but it wouldn't at all be practical. It's unlikely that we will ever see anything like the Tsar Bomba deployed ever again. Today, the warhead with the greatest explosive yield in the United States arsenal is just 1.2 megatons. However, the power of the Tsar Bomba and much more lies within easy grasp of every nuclear-capable nation.